If if he can't, if the guy that's bleeding can't use his gun, why doesn't he hand it over to her and then? I'm just confused. Basically, Rick said, "You worry about the mission. I'm gonna go fuck off." So you know, if you guys all get killed, it'll be my fault. But no problems, right? Now, how come I didn't get to witness this? I don't know. And why did why didn't they eat the whole thing? Prepare the DDKs. Need to enter the laboratory area. Tomorrow I will have to go to the computer room to do maintenance on Dr. Kirk's computer. But I think I left a DDK in the large size elevator control room when I went there yesterday to do elevator maintenance. I'll have to go check it later today. Hey, I got that one. As for another DDK, I think the rookie guy Tom, who was recently assigned to the laboratory area, has it. I'll have to borrow it from him. Did Tom give you a DDK? Maybe his was the one that was on the computer desk. I have no idea how that jerk approached Kirk, but he seems to have gained his complete trust. It's weird how nobody knows his past history. Oh. So they kind of knew who Tom was? That he was a secret yeah. agent? They didn't know that. They just knew they didn't know Tom. Okay, so should I go through that door or should I go through this door? I'm going to go through the smaller Which door, door leads to completion? I don't know, but I unlocked that door. Okay. I want you to take quickest route to end of game. <laughs> Rick, watch out! Chew on this! Huh. Oh. I guess you better go help Tom and Rick. Are they in here? I don't know, sure. Probably not, it's locked. Turn the lasers off. No, you knew that was going to happen. Yeah, that must be a do button thing. Can you kick him back? There was electricity there. I don't want to screw around with this guy. You can tell he's dead because the music changed. Nick, if you had your own theme song, what would it be? You know, that song that plays just as you're walking around everyday life. Uh, Would it be Walking on Sunshine by Katrina and the Waves? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know what your theme song would be. Your theme song would be My Dingaling by Chuck Berry. No. <laughs> is it in this? Why? Why is she uh, doing that? Doing what? She's bleeding to death. Wait, you gotta mix an aid with it. Well, no, I used a, a hemostat. There was a gateway with a green button back behind you that you didn't push. Oh, this is the elevator. There was a door back here. Hallway for carrying in materials. Yeah, there was a green light back there, I thought. No, 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 go back. It was before that. <laughs> yeah, the dinosaur that just attacked you. Right there, green button. Press the green button. I was trying to get over there. Oh my god. Damn it. There. Thank you. But wait a minute though. Um So did they go in minute. there? Is there another door? No. Well that door goes back to the other room. Well then I guess you have to go back to the elevator then. What's this thing? It's a panel. It's a pre rendered background. It's painted. And this goes to the generator room. Maybe they're in the generator room. Oh, that generator looks like it's going to explode. Here, we'll just go to the... We'll go to the Is elevator. this the generator room that you were in where... Where we took the battery, or the... And the pterodactyls got... No. Chopped up later? No, that was the one where we took the extra battery... There you go, sorry. Took the extra battery out, and then we had to put it with the yeah, other Yeah, and then after you did that, that started up the fan that chopped up the pterodactyl. 
Oh, yeah. Use the elevator. Oh, they're, oh. In the, they're in the medical room hallway, not the elevator. This isn't an elevator, you liar. Oh, man! Those things! Uh, I'm gonna equip my pistol for those. <laughs> You're a liar. You're, you told me there weren't any more dinosaurs in this. I forgot what these things are called. Compies. Compies? Now how did you know that? How do you remember that but you don't remember what you're supposed to do in the game? Um, because that was more important. Nah, it's because I've watched Jurassic Park a lot. Or, actually that was in the second one. They were in the second Rick. one. But no, I used to read about dinosaurs a lot when I was a kid. I liked it. I didn't get here fast enough. It's not your fault. But he has a submachine gun. You should pick that up. That looks like the other room where I would save, except down here. Rick's just mad because he wasted his time. Oh, I bet I can push this. Or you could just search it and see if there's medical stuff in it. Yeah. Hey, look, I was right and you were wrong. Sometimes I hate you. Here's your data ID card. Hey, we got the ID card now. Yeah, look at that. Now we can go back to that room that was let's see what this says. seven hours ago. Yeah, let's read the memo. Dr. Sherwood, the ID card on the desk belongs to one of my patients. Please hand it to... Colonel. Colonel Clay when he shows up. Did you he not know that's how the word Colonel was spelled? <laughs> uh, yeah. Colonel. Colonel Clay. He told me that he was going to hold a meeting in the strategy room on the first floor to make preparations for tonight's experiment. Yeah, you know what the preparation was? H. <laughs> Please make sure... Well, he was a doctor. Please yeah. make sure is to hand the card to him since he required to enter... He is... Since one is required to enter the <laughs> <laughs> strategy room, I can't talk anymore. Uh, you okay, ate, wait, where, where was the... Where you, you can't talk anymore because you ate too much Preparation H. Ooh, look. Those are locked boxes. Two emergency cases. But you can't do anything. It doesn't I even allow you to do anything. Can you pick up his gun? Nope. That's bullshit. Well, why? You don't like it when people have extra guns. Well, I don't like dinosaurs either, but... You love dinosaurs. Not really. Like, I'm interested in, like, oh. what? Oh. I'm interested in, like, the actual science of dinosaurs. And, like, the history and stuff like that. This is history. But I'm not so much interested in dinosaurs as an enemy. You'd probably like the second game better. No, because you can buy guns from a vending machine. Well, that's okay. The second game reminds me more of a... Jurassic Park type of thing. I still maintain this game would be more amazing if it had a knife. That's because you love a knife. That was straight out of uh, Resident Evil, where the, all those rooms sound like clown rooms. Oh, yeah. In the director's cut... Uh, oh, they turned off... DualShock the version? DualShock version is horrible. Now that you've heard the good music in our other playthrough. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot better. I don't want to save. I just saved. No, you didn't. I saved in the room down, down below. Oh, oh. Why is it... What? I, the, the music has just suddenly in this game turned to shit. Like, the music wasn't great, but... It's always been that music. Was it always that horn? Yeah. No way. Yeah, you just never <laughs> noticed it till now. It's uh, always been the horn. That's, dun, dun. That's, that's terrible, though. See, right here, this is where a pterodactyl should come through the window. See, I thought something does come through those windows. 
But I could be wrong. I could be hey, you remembered where this room was. Yeah. Go put the yeah, put the key card in the refrigerator. This is that we're back at, No, that this music was not fucking playing. You're full of shit. No, was it not? No. This music's changed. We don't have the registration number. Oh yeah, we do. It was in one of the memos, wasn't it? One of the notes we read at one point. Maybe I wrote it down. Um. Five seven zero three six. When did we get that? Uh, in our last playthrough, I wrote it down. I don't think it's the right number, but. Five zero seven zero three six. Yeah. Five, seven, zero, three, six. Yep, that's it. We need somebody's hand? Oh, fuck. Go find a hand. <laughs> okay, where, where was that guy at? Uh, the guy where we got the number? Outside the front doors of the main hallway. Was that the colonel? No, that was Mark Doyle. So he's... So I have to go out here and make a right? Go out to the main? That main hallway and then go out the front... Yeah, the front door's from here. Right here? Yeah. It's like the only thing I remember because I actually took the time to write it down. He was over there. Is that on the game or is something ringing? No, that's on the game. Ah. What did it say? Just the upper body? <laughs> it said only his arm and upper body. Yeah, see? I wrote that down. Okay, so... So we need his arm. Take his arm. Where, where's his arm? Oh, his hand isn't there. Yeah. So where the hell does his hand go? Well, I dropped my pen. Now I can't write things down. There has to be a hand somewhere. Yay! You used it. All I did was click on the door. We're in the strategy room. Oh man, look at all the strategy in here. Reinforcement of ID man. Earlier this week, there was a case in which somebody used a terminal that rewrites the ID cards to gain unauthorized access. That person acquired the fingerprint data from a corpse of a staff member who died in the accident. He forged the dead man's ID by using the fingerprint data to enter the laboratory area by way of elevator. The problem is that the fingerprint collecting device can acquire usable, which is probably there on the desk, even if a corpse, even from a corpse. Since we will be having an experiment today, we will, there will be many outsiders visiting this facility. When creating the ID cards for guests, keep a careful eye on the device. So I think it's disturbing that people die here so frequently that they would have to actually document, yes, the fingerprint scanner can take a fingerprint from a corpse. <laughs> That's true. 